Researchers on the project say that lipids, or fats, are the key, and more importantly, how we send those lipids to places of regeneration. We're not so good at regenerating that maybe we're not delivering enough lipids to tissues that are damaged. David Forstoffel with the Oklahoma Medical Research Foundation says regeneration research is a growing field and that flatworms and their similarities to humans show promising results. What we discovered is a role for stored neutral lipids or fats that are required for planarian flatworms to regenerate. These worms are the size of sunflower seeds and can regenerate every organ in their body. Say you amputate the head, the head will regrow a new tail within seven to ten days, but the tail fragment will also regrow a new head with eyes and a functional brain as well as other internal organs. We share a protein with these flatworms. We just store ours differently. So this team hopes to learn if there's a possibility humans could use the regeneration protein the same way worms do. We've known for over a century that fats were stored in the flatworm intestine, but we didn't know if they were a store of energy or building blocks that was important for regeneration. Forstoffel says this research could aid in cancer research. Finding out how these animals stop their regeneration could show us how to slow cancer growth. Colby Terrell, KOCO 5 News.